audio. <laughs> I recorded the audio. That should be the beginning. It's just like. <laughs> that should be a. That should you should make like a, you should make like a quip of that, but I think just like. Or like that should be your intro. <laughs> just do the encore. Five, four, four, three, two. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Offbeat where we are unconventional as ever and we ask the weird questions. Today I have a very special guest. He's one of my close friends once again and it is Tristan Conklin. Hi. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just like, hey, how's it going guys? Let's do some of the <laughs> all right off to a weird start i like it i like all right. it all right so the first thing on my list is about making music yeah because i know you you're pursuing making music this is true like how do you go about like starting off on making like a new song honestly i have if i'm gonna be completely honest i have the worst writer's block Humanly possible and procrastination to the finest, but honestly, it starts out. I'll just like if I have a day where there's no school, like no homework, nothing to do, I'll literally just sit on my computer and I have on my schedule every day to make like an hour, spend an hour to make music or just mess around with guitar, mm -hmm. and like just kind of I put stuff on my phone when I see like lyric ideas or song ideas, I kind of put them down, and mess with Ableton because I'm just learning how to do Ableton. So I'm not. I'm just worrying how to do audio right now. Music is not being actively produced, but we'll soon. All right, all right. And then the the, the ne next question isn't really a on follow up. It's uh, what's your favorite smell? My favorite smell? Yes, your favorite smell. Okay, this is <laughs> something that. Okay, there's so many smells. Like I fucking, I love all the weird smells. I love gasoline. Like I love the smell of Dude, gas yes. and motor oil, and I love the smell of rain. But yeah. it depends where, because I when I went to Virginia for two months, the rain there smelled like just grass. It was like okay, it's nice. Here it just smells like cement. No, exactly. That's the best smell in the world when there's dirty, wet cement. Like when <laughs> someone in summer is like washing their car. And like all the water rushes down the cement, and you smell it off the air. Oh, what is that smell? <laughs> it made me want to eat rocks as a kid. Not gonna lie, because I thought they like, for some reason, it smelled appetizing. Yeah, I, I don't. Okay, that actually brings me to a story of mine. Okay, about rocks. So we were doing a lab in sixth grade. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we had this like thing of it, it looked like rocks. Okay, and then. I was sitting with my friend, and I was like, dude, is that rocks? What are we doing with rocks? He's like, I don't know. I don't think that's rocks, though. I'm like, are you sure? I pick, I pick like, a grain up, and I, I, it smells like a rock. It looks like a rock. I lick it. It's a rock. And it's not a rock. <laughs> oh. It was kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's gross. How big was the... Was it like a clump or was it like a grain? No, no, no. It's like a single grain. It was, oh. It's it just a single grain of kitty litter. I was just like, oh. Yup. There we go. I'm just thinking. <laughs> you had a big clump. And um, you just were like... Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Delicious. But I have, li I have also licked the rock. And it, it tastes I just how it hot smells. Exactly. It, it made me want to eat them as a kid. But, like, I realized you can't eat rocks. <laughs> you can't eat rocks. Sadly. And then, uh, going on, moving on, uh, who is your favorite amateur musician? Amateur? Okay. Like, SoundCloud rapper. A a amateur. <sighs> amateur, like, 3 p.m., like, from our school <clears throat> and stuff. I don't really fuck with anyone at DV. In that sense of, like, who makes music. Like, I do to an extent, but I don't know too many people. The mm -hmm. people I know are, like, SoundCloud rappers. I mean, there's one, Jackson. Like, I mess with him because I know him. Oh, Lil, Lil Town. Yeah. We're actually t thinking about having him on. Yeah, honestly, he he's makes good stuff. And I've been with him to the studio once. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty good. But, like, everyone else, like, like 
uh, was it Jay Woods or something? Oh yeah, Jay yeah. Woods. Bro, he put flyers up on the street for I mean, his stuff. Hey, there's obviously someone who likes his music, but I'm not one of them. I, like, I, yeah. But my favorite, I don't know amateur who's here locally, but I heard this one guy. I heard this one song. No, no, he's not amateur. If ish, if. Yeah. He has two songs, three songs out. Uh, and his name's Danny Dwyer. And he makes some beautiful music. Like, it's really good. I'm going to have to look that up. No, nah, he's he's really good. He's he, in St. Louis. Okay, you're going to have to send me like some music Yeah. at some point. Definitely. Um, And then uh, the other thing is, like, who is, do you think is the greatest musician of all time? I, you probably already know mine because you watched the last podcast. So, so you know who mine is, but who do you th- think is the greatest of all time? Honestly, man, that is such a hard question. Because, like, the only music... So I listen, many genres. I listen to everything except country. And, like, I know people hate me for not liking country, like, sometimes. But, like, I don't fucking care. Uh... It's like I mean, it's just the music that I don't personally resonate what with. What about like, that Kingsman country though? Eh? The, the the one at the end. Oh, yeah. country road. Yeah. Well, I that's think... like more folky. That's not like country. Okay. Like I'm talking about like Florida Georgia Line, or, like <laughs> Tracy Adkins, like you know that kind of stuff. Like it's not Tracy much. Adkins is my boy. It's like the same with like rap and country. I feel like anyone who like people who say like I like all music except rap, or I like all music except country. I like all music general. Yeah. Period. Hey, that's good for you, man. I mean, I could, I could see the appeal to country. It's like mm-hmm. the same appeal of rap. Mm-hmm. People, some people listen to country just to like party and drink with friends. It's more of the southern border area. <laughs> and then there's people who like rap. It's like they drink and party with friends to some rap songs. But there's mm-hmm. also some country songs that are meaningful and deep. Same thing with rap. Yeah. But all time, all time, honestly, I would say Childish Gambino. I mean, not all. I'm not. He's not all time. I can't. I can't answer all time. But, but like, your favorite. One of I like my b- biggest inspir- inspirations for music because he just, he just does everything. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not one thing he can't do, and he just like music was like a side project for him. He's like, yeah, let's do music, and like, he pulled out some of the most like thoughtful music from the times, and also some of the most like smashing hits. I guess you would have to say like songs that are super like bubbly kind of mm-hmm. feeling and then songs that are like heavy and like have heavy topics and then songs mm-hmm. that were like we're just chilling over here telling a story yeah. he's got a lot oh. you actually saw him live though what well, yes i did what how was it how was the concert well the concert was fucking amazing but <laughs> the thing that's great about it is because I've always wanted to see him in concert but mm-hmm. I never had the chance to until now because he mm-hmm. like never came to Arizona and they didn't tour for a while so when he came down here, I was super excited. My girlfriend got me tickets. Yes. And we both went, and it was, oh, it was heavenly. It was an amazing mm-hmm. experience, honestly. Like the light show and mm-hmm. everything that he did. It wasn't like a lot. It was mm-hmm. minimalistic, but it was mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Do you think he worked the worked the crowd well? Because that's a big part of doing live. <sighs> well, a lot of people who are there. Where that, like, they, he didn't really need to work them at all. Yeah. Like, he just kind of... The only time I can think of where he worked the crowd was, like, when he started out on stage, he started singing. And then everyone had their phones out, and he saw the flashing and stuff. And he, like, almost... He, like, stopped, and he was like... It's like, everyone put your phones away. It's like, this isn't something to be streamed. True. Like, it's like, it's this something... is church. And then all the music, like, music just hit the bass and just like <laughs> he was playing uh what song is it me into your heart. i can't i'm not thinking about it right now i don't know the song my sound terrible my favorite artist that you actually took me to was logic that was a great that was concert a that was a great concert and he worked <laughs> that crowd to the fullest extent logic is probably one of the like best entertainers in music right yeah, I especially love his message, bro. There's nothing better than love, peace, and positivity. Like, yeah, I mean that's, it's a good, it's a good alternative to everything else that some rap gives. Like, get yeah. fucked up, get girls. 
Yeah, and then he comes out with like, oh, I got a message to be spoken, like that type thing. I, I like that. Yeah, the first, he's actually the first rapper that really got me into rap again. Because I used mm-hmm. to listen to Outkast a lot with my dad. Mm-hmm. But, um, like, sophomore year, my friend, you know, Lucas. Lucas, yeah. Yeah, he showed me the song uh, Young Jesus. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. really good. And I was like, oh, it's good. And then I listened to Nicki, and that song hit me. <laughs> I don't know. It was just because the whole time I thought he was talking about a girl. Like, I thought he was talking about mm-hmm. just a breakup song. I'm like, oh, this is a good breakup song. And then at the end, he switches up and he says nicotine instead of Nikki. And he repeats the lines like, it's like, I'm in love with the nicotine. And I was like, oh shit, he's talking about his cigarette addiction that he's had for 10 years. It's <laughs> the same concept. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of got me into it because I realized it was more mm-hmm. than just trap beats yeah. and big teats. You know? Okay. Uh. Next up is how many ping pong balls do you think can fill up this room? Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm really trying to think now. <laughs> how much is like 300? <laughs> like, that's, that's probably that's like, probably, a, that's like probably that. just a total. I'm gonna like, say like 100,000. 100,000? I feel like that would only get us up to like. Are you serious? I feel like, dude, ping pong balls are like this big, bro. They're that big, but like. Uh, like how like how many do you think? I think, a, I think maybe a million. We should test it. We, oh my what God. about a million? A million, a hundred thousands? You think that would work? Or a hundred, a thousand, a <laughs> hundred thousands? Well, I guess we'll have to put it to a test in one of my vlogs. So stupid. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's not funny. <laughs> uh, all right. So I had you bring your guitar. Yes, indeed. I, I, I would like it if you played us a little tune, maybe like for a minute or so. Yeah. What kind of tune you thinking? Any tune you want. Oh, yeah, let's oh. just scoot this back a little bit. I, I would sing, but I don't know if I can because my throat has been acting up recently. All right. All right, someone give me a genre that's not country. <laughs> just straight off the bat. CJ. All right. Guilty. Guilty. I mean, that's not a genre. That's a song. I can play that song. Okay, we have someone at the door. Uh, it's all good. All right. thing i can't really doesn't sound good when you don't sing to it <laughs> it's just no i, I dude i love you played that at the your apartment one day and i i just i love just listening to that tone it just like puts me in like a, a chill mood yeah it's one of my favorite love songs actually because it's almost like tim burton-esque that's like how john bellion ex- john bellion explained it dude you have so much knowledge of music you're just naming people on that well because john bellion is a guy who made that song you know he's an artist Mm -hmm. but i when i get bored i like to watch a lot of documentaries or like the he what john bellion does specifically is he does a lot of behind the scenes of making his songs Mm -hmm. so like i like watched the video he made it was like 30 minutes long about making of guillotine and like all the things that he went through to do it that's his ideas on it that's pretty cool yeah you got any other tune you want to play real quick (sighs) fit like the favorite one I'm sure you got a favorite one. But. Well, I have one that I just learned a couple days ago that I actually was really proud of because I didn't think I could do it. It's um, 3005, A Child She Can't Be No, but on the guitar. So you know this line. Okay. Nice, bro. Nice. 
people clap? I'm not famous. Yes, you clap. <laughs> we clap. We clap for our guest. Thank you. Uh, all right, you, you can go, unless you want to play later. I'll probably just mm-hmm. keep it up here. Cause I'm okay. Like okay. Just don't fiddle. Just turn it down a little bit. Oh, it's so, not on. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. Um, well... Do you think you would ever start releasing music to uh, a SoundCloud? I mean, I've, I think I messed... I I released, like, one song I made on GarageBand, like a beat, like an EDM mm. song once on SoundCloud. Mm. And I mean, I think SoundCloud's a good way to, like, release music that everyone can listen to, so probably sometime in the future. Yo, if you ever need the plug to get you on the Spotify, I know how to go about that. <laughs> But I'm more focused, honestly, I'm more focused right now on trying to, like, I want to make a group or, like, a band mm-hmm. or just, because I'm not good by myself with the ideas. Like, yeah. I have so many at once that it's mm-hmm. hard to keep them in track and it's hard to put something together. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny about you saying that is, like, literally today, because I knew I was having you on, I, and I know you've mentioned that, I was like, yo, what if the boys became a boy gram, boy band, boy gram, boy, gram. boy band. I mean, I don't think, I mean, the only person I ever thought of starting a group with in the friend group was Jaden, because he actually writes a lot of good stuff. Like, he, when he writes stuff with free verses or anything, it sounds good, and it moves. He's good at keeping, throwing, bouncing ideas off of me, but, yeah. Um, who, who, okay, out of the boys, who do you think is musically talented to be in a boy band with you? Jaden, because <laughs> just because he can rap a little bit, so like no Jay- one else can do anything. Aaron just sits there in his room, and plays. I was thinking it would be like uh, me, you, Jaden. Can Molly can actually. Bro, I haven't heard Molly. She can play bass. Oh, that's right. She, she does play bass. bass. And then uh, Bethany sings. I was thinking. I, I would have to hear that. <laughs> she actually is really good. She, but yeah. But uh, if it was out of the boys, I thought it, if that what would make a good boy band was Jaden, you, Johnny, and I. That <laughs> I rip th- Aaron, Jesus! <laughs> but, uh, I don't be the manager. Okay. Yeah, he can be the manager. <laughs> it's just he doesn't have like the outgoing personality. I, like, Jaden's pretty. Uh, his nickname. He's a fucking turtle. Dude, I bought, <laughs> I bought him the Franklin book. He is Franklin the turtle now. I mean, that's pretty shy, but I get what you're saying. All I right. can see that. Johnny would be the... Dude, I, don't jo- I don't know what Johnny would be. I'm trying to think of, like, we had all the stereotype, you know, like the... I know I can sing low. Like, You'd be the smart, quirky guy. Yeah. Jaden would be I'd the... I'd be, like, with all the technology crap like this. Jayden like, this would, I can do. Jaden would be the sad, but, like, smart individual who's shy and doesn't open himself up. Like, Raven. Okay, if we were the Teen Titans... <laughs> Yes, bro. Who would we be? I think you would be Beast Boy. Beast Boy? I could be Beast Boy. I feel like Jaden would be Raven. Johnny would be Cyborg. Johnny would so be Cyborg. So be Cyborg. That's why it works. Aaron. Starfire? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Does it confirm that Aaron's. No, no, no. He could be Jinx from uh, (laughs) Hive. He's not like. No, he's the. um... Who's, he's oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What's his name, bro? Gizmo. 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 He's Gizmo, bro. Aaron is Aaron, Gizmo. Aaron is Gizmo. <laughs> bro, I I love how, like, the audience doesn't know who, like, half these people, are, like, well, are in our friend circle. I hope they don't find out, like... Why? I mean, we have a, 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 a movie poster of the Kingsman, the Savage Circle. <laughs> It, 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 it was already it, it, it was already in the last podcast. <laughs> okay. It was already in the last podcast. I'm sorry okay. to break it to you. We already we, it's already been out there. It's on my, list. I I have a list. I We're getting through. Too it. Uh, the next one would be a favorite classic video game. Oh, dude. What is dude, like, I mean, how classic are we talking? Okay, we're talking like Nintendo 64 era and like. Like the classic before, like Xbox and PS4. Before Xbox. Before Xbox. Screw um, Xbox. Honestly, We're talking Nintendo. One of my favorite games. This isn't really original because, like, it's the GameCube, but the oh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. 
because that's oh, what yeah. I. That's the first video game. As I someone you like hacked it and made. Like, well, no, that was that was Brawl. It was Project M. Oh. That's what I did with that. But for Melee, it's like the magna opus of all Smash Brothers in my eyes. It's amazing. Damn. In the next couple months, I plan on getting a Nintendo Switch. We're gonna have to have a Smash sure. comp. Yeah, of course we are. I know you want to switch. Let's plays. We could just do let's, let's plays, plays like Game Grumps style. Start just, the finally start that. the King's channel that I wanted to do, which Wait, is do you know what the King's, King's channel chicken. was? Yeah, I remember. It was it like was, a multimedia. Thing. Yeah, it's multimedia. Don't tell all your plans to the fans. They know about the plans. The plans have been announced. I forget you have vlogs. You tell everyone everything. I t- my life is an open. Don't book. do any uh, dark dark. Uh, dark dark web unboxing, because now everyone's gonna know who we are. Uh, okay, uh, another one is: What do you think of Van Gogh's pan- paintings? Van Gogh's paintings, like Starry Night and so. I mean, I think Starry Night's like a classic one, but I don't really associate my people who with people who cut off their ears. <laughs> no, he's actually he's a really good artist, and I mm-hmm. respect his art. Just so, you, just so you know, I have people I ask for these questions. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I go around at school, I'm like, yo, give me a random question. Van Gogh. I was gave like, you that one? A girl in my English class. She must we be have Starry Night painting. She must be like edgy and artsy. No, she was staring at the uh, Starry Night painting that was hung up behind me in class. <laughs> What's your favorite Leonardo da Vinci? Uh, that'd probably be uh, the, the, um, the guy like even... this. <laughs> Do you even know uh, Renaissance? Do you, even, <laughs> do you even know who Leonidas is? The turtle, right? Yeah. No, what is that? It's from 300. Like what? the movie. 300. Uh, no, Leonardo. No, I said Leonidas. Oh, I was I'm talking about... I, I'm talking about TMNT, bro. TMNT, Mutant yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? We're just sitting here. It's like that's what off beat is, bro. Well, I know it's off the beat. Obviously, there's no Wait. beat to be off. I'm gonna off myself on the beat. We're making our own beat, bro. We're, we're not even on the beat. Uh, so we make quality jokes here. Like honestly. Uh. So I, I know you you work on some songs. Uh, do you plan on ever releasing them? Of course, I I do plan on releasing them. I just I don't believe in produce like releasing music that doesn't sound good. Like I'm not gonna sit there on my Rushed. like I'm yeah I'm not gonna sit there on my laptop with like my laptop mic and like my beats that are recorded off my phone into the laptop like psh, psh. like mm-hmm. that's not that's not good to me but i feel like it's what a lot of people on soundcloud do like that kind of really trashy like this isn't put together right this guy's using his apple mic <laughs> so it's like i want to like i had to get the equipment first now i have to mm-hmm. learn with the equipment and then like i hopefully said offered up... earlier i can help you with the equipment yeah the equi- like Absolutely. sound is where i'm at bro this is my babies <laughs> well yeah definitely i would love to have your help mm-hmm. with that but i love yeah. setting up audio systems just kind of seeing how mm-hmm. what's which the world's taking me right now mm-hmm. there's a lot of things i would want to do maybe youtube or podcast would be one of them but i have to have a medium to really do that mm-hmm. so i mean do you plug i'm sure cj will plug cj cj's got 20k on uh instagram right now really i'm, I'm live right now so dude you're live where'd you get that from or how, bro how you're you leaking footage how do you get how do you get twenty thousand? no 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 it's fine it's fine how do you get twenty thousand people on instagram i had like 700 i thought it was an accomplishment no, I had like 500 <laughs> How much you got? Oh, uh, exact? <laughs> you want the exact 12? number? I can pull up the... Oh, honey. Offbeat has eight. Offbeat has eight followers. Well, I'm talking about, like... You Me, personally? Have I've had 336 yeah, followers. Have... Me? Podcast Offbeat. Podcast Offbeat. At Podkeep. Offbeat. Off Podkeep. Off Podkeep. We're going to keep the pod under check. <laughs> when I die, I want to be reincarnated as a jewel pod. <laughs> That was a Tell quote. us about that. That's not my quote. That's a quote from Rich Brian from 88 Rising. Ah. Uh, I got it off his Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the best thing. And then, that's the best thing. Because I never use Twitter. But mm-hmm. when I do, it's for the randomest shit. Like, 
I was in the airplane. I didn't once. even know you had a Twitter. Exactly. <laughs> no, but like I was sitting on the toilet once in like the airplane bathroom, and I just sent. I didn't send the picture. <laughs> no, I just typed in. I was just like, "We out here taking sky shits." That's all I posted. Oh, I have seen that. <laughs> <Yeah. tweet. laughs> And I just want people to look at their Twitter and see me like, who the fuck is this? Like, what is he doing? Dude, I, dude there's, uh, I, I'm not going to say the app for it, but I have this one Twitter where I just post the most random crap. It's so, so random. So you have like a meme Twitter page? Yes. Yes. Kevin but has a worse. meme page confirmed? Yes, it, I do. Even on iFunny. I don't use iFunny. I haven't no, used that I don't, since sixth grade, man. Right? But is I I dude if anyone ever finds it I'll be amazed. Uh, but actually there is one question <laughs> that I asked Johnny that I would love to ask you because I feel like you'll have a creative answer. If you had uh, if you had to choose the way to die, how would you go out? And it can't be natural causes. Yeah, natural causes are too fucking boring. I mean, <laughs> if I had to go out one way. One way, one way out of this lovely world of ours. What is it? <laughs> have you ever seen the Power Rangers movie? Like the original one? I feel like it, yeah. I feel like I have. At least once. At least once. Like with the white ring, like the 90s one? Oh, yeah, yeah, You know yeah, the okay. opening scene where they all jump out of the airplane and <laughs> yeah. like fucking Tommy comes out with a snowboard and starts just like <laughs> going out? Yeah. I would want to be on a snowboard <laughs> jumping out of an airplane with a parachute and a wingsuit. Then how would you die? The thing is... I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die, but I'm gonna do something when I'm dying. You're gonna do some lit stuff. I love Johnny's answer by getting bit by a shark as he fucking plummets into the wall, like earth. That is, I don't know if I could do that to an animal. <laughs> well, what if you stuff. land on an animal with the snowboard? That's just natural causes at that point. Like something, <laughs> something falls out of the sky and you don't know, and it hits you. It's like, well, that wasn't like no one. That was no one's fault. Natural selection. Yeah, but it's like if you purposely take a shark up with you. No, he didn't per- take a shark up with him. He said he, the shark came out of the water and as bit he's him. plumbing into the earth. Yeah, well, that like, would just blow through the shark. <laughs> That wouldn't even if he the shark jumped out and he went yeah. in there. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay, he pulled up a skydiving picture. Him and I are supposed to go skydiving. When are you guys going skydiving? You want to go? Yeah, I'm 18. Yeah, let's, let's, go right let's now. do it no, right let's, now. Yeah, I think you have to All right, schedule we're taking that. this mobile. Come on, <laughs> yes. come on, videographer, let's go. <laughs> we're going in the sky. Starts moving the cameras around. <laughs> All right, give me the mics. All three cameras. This is as we're skydiving. So really like, all right. So one more question for you: If we dropped a thousand ping pongs onto the world right now, what would happen? What? What? A thousand okay. ping pongs? A ping, a thousand ping pong balls from like way up in the sky. Just. I was like a thousand <laughs> ping pongs. Like I feel like he was supposed to say ball, but maybe I'm thinking of something completely. Ping pong balls. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just like we just truck them all. All like we have a bucket <laughs> as we're pl- jumping out of the plane. I feel like, like they would just yeah. float though. They would just, like, well, yeah, float but like when they hit the earth, like how high would they bounce? I don't think they would bounce. I think they'd just be destroyed. And <laughs> Shattered. If something goes fast enough to the earth and just hits it. It I just becomes a meteorite. <laughs> Ping pong balls are hollow. <laughs> Maybe if it was like a super industrial rubber ball. ball? Okay, a thousand bouncy balls, bro. I feel like we're destroying some cars and houses at that point. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> Science. And? Oh my gosh. That camera. Alright. You, ah! you want another question? Ask away, sir! I'm off the I'm off the book now, Roy. Oh, oh. Whoa. Yeah. shit! We're moving on. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! I, I scream, man. I know. I'm looking at the audio <laughs> waves right now. <laughs> I really want to hear someone's listening. To this just, just like boom. Just there, it's like whoa, whoa. <laughs> yo, yo, that's what it's gonna be because you're hitting the max in the decibel range and on this, you hit the max. You maxed it out. <laughs> Too much game. Too much decibels. Too many doubles. Oh, favorite anime, go. Oh, hey. 
I mean, I haven't watched all of them. Right now, it's My Hero Academia. My Hero? I, I've been told to watch My Hero. You need to watch it. It's like Sky High, but an anime form. Wait, what? Yeah. It's, what? No it's one has super... explained this so, to me. No spoilers, but I'm going to say, like, the point, spoilers. Premise. The premise of it. If you're into My Hero, just... uh. Just... It's, if you're already watching My Hero, it doesn't matter, but if you want to watch it, then just listen. I don't... It's not really spoiler. I mean, I haven't The premise it, of it, so. basically, is that there's this world... Everyone, this one kid has powers. They call them quirks, and not all quirks are equal. Some basically, X Men shit. Yeah, it's basically like mutants, but eighty percent of the world has some sort of power, where twenty percent doesn't. So like, there's eighty percent of people in the world who like have something like, if it's lame, like, oh, I can float little things only around. Little thing. Or like, I can make a lighter out of my finger, and that's it. That's dope. Though. Yeah, but like, like. That, or you could have a power that's like, I control the wind, or like that. And, like, they're basically, it's like, cop, like, hero is now a profession. Being a hero, you get paid for being the best hero and oh, stuff. Oh, damn. So, so and Superman so it's basically about like, one okay. kid <coughs> going through that whole experience. I'm not going to say anymore. Cause... Okay. Okay. That, yeah. All right. It's, it's cool. I need to get into that. I've been uh, trying, I'm, I've been trying to get into One Punch Man right now. One Punch Man's a good one to start off. Yeah. Or I, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Dude, good. what season of Dragon Ball should I start in? I say, I mean, okay. So, what's dra- your, Dragon? Which one? There's Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT. Okay, Dragon where, Ball where should I start? I say because I started watching just straight out Dragon Ball. Oh, like, like when he's a little kid the, the, with the freaking tail and things. I'm yeah, like, yeah, this that's is like that's the mo- original Dragon Ball, but Dragon yeah. Ball Z is like a time skip. I was like, dude, so. I can't watch this little kid go collect these balls all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Why do you have to say it like that? I don't think anyone else thinks of it like that. Dude, that no, that's exactly what the freaking series is about. This dude is just going out collecting Dragon Balls. Well, do you know why he's collecting the Dragon Balls? He can make a wish. It's like a genie. If you collect all six or seven Dragon Balls. You're a freaking god. <laughs> no, you can just make one wish. Make one wish? I have to get six of those things? Seven, I think. Seven? I don't really. One for each Like, every. as the series goes on, Dragon Balls become less and less important, so... I know, because I've heard that much because, like, uh, because n- now it's more like, oh, I need a Dragon Ball. Boom, I have a Dragon Ball. It's like, is it... <laughs> I say, if you want to get into it, you could start Dragon Ball Z, like the original series. It's just there's a lot of filler episodes. So if you wanted to go by shorter and still get all, like, the information, I would say watch Kai. Dragon Ball Z Kai, which is basically just a summary. So it it's a shorter version, takes out all the filler episodes mm-hmm. for just the action. Okay. And or and yeah, there's also Super, which just came out, which is really good. I still am watching that. And, but my My Hero Academia, but is a good one, but it's not my favorite of all time. If I'm talking about like all time favorite, all time, it's all Cowboy time. Bebop. What? Cowboy. Bebop. Where can you watch that? Uh, Hulu. Hulu? Yeah. I swear Hulu has all the anime. They have all the TV shows. All the anime. Well, they have all TV shows. They have more TV shows where Netflix has movies and stuff. True. They don't have... I have both, TV so... Show. Then, uh, yeah, with Hulu... Cowboy Bebop... I have... Cowboy Bebop came out in the 90s. So, or like, oh, late that's 90s. Old, that's old. But it's some of the best animation ever. Like, the way everything flows. It's all hand-drawn, mm-hmm. cell shading. Well, if you had to choose, like, favorite all-time... Uh, cartoon as a kid what would it be Dude, as a kid as a kid my all-time gosh what's wrong with you why you gotta do me like this i always gotta ask them all-time questions because like when i was a kid that's when tv was like the best like uh, yeah. you got chowder you had flapjack you had courage the cowardly dog you had ed ed and eddie you had codename kids next Dude, door courage bro. spongebob you had everything samurai jack i mean spongebob still goes on right now well, it's, yeah, it's but new it's not, episodes. It's, I, it's been dead since season three. <laughs> like, once season three stopped and the movie was out, then after that it just kind of died. Dude, the... Because the then they switched. Freaking the... Super Bowl got me so mad. Oh, dude. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Can, we can go back to that because I, I hate... I always go on tangents. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, favorite cartoon? I would have to say Avatar The Last Airbender. I own that on disc. Because that show was, like, the first show that really got me, like, invested in characters. 
and like character development. We're, we're, we're going to wrap up the podcast yeah. because that I forgot that that was my bad this time. This time it was my <laughs> fault. You need to like get a charger for it or like a secondary battery for it. Well, we're going to get new. Ca- I'm going to get a new camera for over there. Ah, cool. And I'm going to get a new cam- center camera. But all right, let's wrap it up. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys. For watching this week's podcast or listening in, whatever you did. This is the most unconventional podcast there is. I mean, we covered some random topics. I didn't even plan for some of them. Uh, Make sure to hit the follow button, subscribe, wherever you're listening, watching. Just make sure to follow us everywhere. Facebook, Twitter. Not Facebook. We're not on Facebook. Facebook. Damn, I keep saying Facebook. (laughs) Instagram and Twitter. Do you have a Twitter? Yeah, we have a Twitter. Well, I guess I'll follow them. <laughs> uh, make sure to follow us everywhere, and we will see you guys next week with our next guest. It's going to be this YouTuber known as Axe. He wears a mask. It's kind of weird, yes, but we will see you next week. Thank you. All right. Bye. Peace. <laughs> and done. <laughs> and done. <laughs>